getting ready to leave, I'm going to go for my first bikini fitting today. So the first competition is in April and it's now the, I think it's the 27th, yep, 27th of January. My first competition is in April. So I wanna make sure I have plenty of time to choose a bikini and get one that I really like and also to get it adjusted if I need to whenever my body changes. So we're here in Miss Bikini Suits, Northern Ireland. I'm really lucky that I live so close um, actually to everything that I need to get for my competition. So it's fantastic. So we're just trying on different bikini styles. You can see some here as she moves quickly out of the way. So she's not in the video. So I think I'm gonna go for an underwired style because I think that the underwired style suits me better. And I did try on some of the molded cups. So this is a molded cup here, which is lovely, but I don't have breast implants. Um, sometimes I really wish that I did, but I don't. So after breastfeeding four children, I wanna make sure that things are lifted and put in the right place. So um, I'm excited to get my bikini. It makes it all seem real. So I am just getting in the car after um, doing my first bikini fitting and I chose my bikini and I chose my connectors and I chose the color and I, I chose a red one with like lots of crystal embellishment and some really simple connectors and I am so excited and I chose my shoes as well so it kind of makes it all seem a wee bit more real now that I've chosen my bikini because up until now it's just all been a little bit of a dream but I'm definitely excited now and it makes you want to like work a little bit harder and lift a little bit heavier and uh, yeah it's amazing. Cardiff's. This is my yep. this is the torture master. So today um, we're in the gym and uh, we're doing glutes and so he has me doing some look this is Curtis's wee bum look this is my wee bum look getting bigger getting bigger so we're going to do some of these bad boys on the Smith we're gonna be lifting them up squeezing the glutes the whole way because my glutes have always been my uh, low point Curtis, would you say? Point, he says no. I don't have any low points. He says this that I'm small. Just, small. He calls me the wee bull. <laughs> wee bull. I come in and I'm like, you and I knock it out. And actually, um, I'm just drawing out my time between sets here to give myself more time to recover. So um, I'm going to get back at it. But just wanted you guys to meet Curtis because you're going to be seeing an awful lot of them. Oh my God, I have just finished the most intense glute workout with Curtis. Um, Curtis and I have been training together for about six months now and we have the best training relationship because I am really intense, real type A, real high energy. And Curtis is so chilled out about everything. Very relaxed, very um, sensitive as far as a big muscly guy goes. And he really knows how to push me like really hard without over pushing me because I'm a kind of person who pushes myself constantly like I always push myself to the hardest the furthest that I can possibly go so when I work with someone who doesn't understand that every single time I do something I perform an exercise I lift a weight I am doing it to like the best of my ability I am doing it with as much intensity as I can whenever someone pushes and pushes and pushes me to go harder 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 it actually really puts me off because I'm like, I can't go anymore because I, I reach the point of exhaustion. I reach the point of physical exhaustion because I'm already giving it my all. And to give it that extra like one or 2% on every single exercise just exhausts me and makes me, um, actually makes me emotional and upset. So um, I love working out with Curtis and he really knows how to get the best out of me. And I swear my legs and my glutes are on fire after that, like absolutely and utterly on fire. So I'm just about to go, but I forgot to bring my protein. I always have my protein straight afterwards. And I've been in the car, I don't even have any bloody water with me. I was so unprepared. I was doing my posing practice earlier and I, I left it far too late to be prepared. And I left everything sitting in the house and ran out without it. So I'm gonna go home now and have my, my protein, my Vitargo, have some lunch and uh, yeah, just collapse, I think for a little while. Now I'm here for my posing session with the very beautiful Natalia Mello. Actually, you're not Hello. Mello anymore. You're Natalia Wilson now, are you? Mello Wilson. Mello Wilson, double barreled. <laughs> yeah. So Natalia rocked up here today looking absolutely gorgeous. And I rocked Thanks. up here today looking sweaty and disgusting, but it's oh. really not how you look. It's 
how you walk and how you pose. Um, Natalia is my posing coach. Well, I've just appointed her my posing coach. Um, <laughs> so whether she likes it or not, she, Natalia, <laughs> I don't know whether or not you guys know, like she, Natalia like is an Olympia champion. She won in the bikini, wasn't it in the bikini? Yeah, bikini. In, in, the, in Olympia in how many 2012. years 2012. In 2012. I mean, like, it's like, you have no idea. It really is is like the pinnacle of the bikini world. And then I we live in Belfast, which is like a tiny little place. And then one day a I realized <laughs> that Natalia lives in Belfast. Like Olympia winner lives in Belfast. So uh, people kept saying to me, "Oh, you should go to such and such for posing and such and such." I was like, "No, no, no, no. I am going to the champion for my posing." So we're here in David Lloyd's in Dundonald, and we actually just finished our posing session. Um, but I'm gonna put some video up after this so you guys can see like how amazing she You're is. You're gonna be ready to rock it. I'm gonna be ready to rock it. She looks so natural and I like feel so clumsy. I'm like clumping around in my big heels. Well, I'm sure I'll probably look like that if I try to do your yoga class. No, too. my God, like... that's what I was saying. I was like, you come to my yoga class and I'm gonna feel so much better one day. I love bringing people into yoga. I'm like, ah, oh, now I can torture you for an hour. So um, I'm gonna be posting video footage of uh, my posing sessions. So yes, you guys, um, if you are doing any shows in Belfast, this is the girl. Thank you. This is the girl. I'll put up our contact details um, below this video. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So it's quarter to 11, 10 to 11 on Thursday evening and I had a big gym session today and a big posing session and um, I just can't make myself go to bed. I had a really hot Epsom salts bath when I came in and Epsom salts is so good for helping, um, to, um, helping with fatigued muscles so quite often I mean, almost every single day I train, I'll have an Epsom salts bath that night. So I did that earlier and I sorted everybody out and now I'm gonna go to head and head to bed and hopefully get at least nine hours sleep because I need so much sleep, especially since I started strength training. People say I get seven or eight hours. Honestly, I need like nine hours sleep. And if I don't get to bed soon, I'm actually going to turn into a pumpkin because I turn into a pumpkin at 11 o'clock and I really don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go to bed now. Uh, I have a big um, gym session in the morning and then lunch with my mum. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, see you guys in the morning. So it's Friday morning and I didn't really sleep very well last night. I'm really tired this morning and I just could not get the motivation to go to the gym. So I decided to um, do some posing practice instead. So I am here in my stripper heels and my booty shorts in my yoga room uh, doing my practice. So this handsome chap and I are uh, just about to go into Om Active. Um, it's a Om Active is where I get all my fitness wear because they do such an amazing range of yoga wear and also uh, fitness and gym wear. And I really need um, workout gear that does both that will be stretchy enough for yoga, but will also um, carry into the gym so that you don't look like you're prancing around in yoga gear. So I need fitness uh, that does both. So we're just about to go into Om Active and choose some new fitness wear and then I think we're going to go and do a little bit of grocery shopping. Is that right Jackie? Yeah. So I'm in here and I'm active trying on my clothes and I think I really like these ones and I was just showing them my posing practice so I was like okay you have to leg out front pose a little twist to the side elbow round but you know what it doesn't come naturally to me this you just stick the butt out stick it out smile sweet cheese and then you have to step together step out step to the side Twist and again, so you have to stick the butt, <laughs> and then uh, let me see if I can remember. Step, step, arms together, and then that's when you do your your front, put your back pose. Stick the butt out, stick the butt out, stick the butt out. Step, step to the side, butt out, 
Sunday evening at about 4.30 and I'm just heading into the gym. Um, normally I don't do any cardio whatsoever, I just lift weights. So when I say cardio, like I'm not gonna do anything crazy, like hit workouts, I'm actually going to walk on the stair climber for about um, 30 minutes, I think, because it really kills your glutes and your quads. So end of the week, and then I'm gonna do a weigh-in tomorrow, measure myself and see how I'm doing for week 11. So heading into the gym now. That's over here, these bad boys. The power mill. Good thing is I actually get a view of the swimming pool as well, which is quite good. So this thing just literally goes for 30 minutes and you climb God knows how many flights of stairs. So I'm gonna just watch some YouTube while I'm doing it and um, see how much fun I can have on the stair climber. So I just finished my 30 minutes on the stair climber. Oh, that was hard. I got my heart rate up to about 180 and then I dropped it down and then I pushed it up and then I dropped it down. And my legs are really feeling it now. Um, and I just watched videos the whole time I was on it. So I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna go home and cook some dinner for the family. I've got my protein in the car. This is, my bottle it looks disgusting. My kids call it swamp water. It's uh, greens powder with um, liquid trace minerals and lemon juice. <laughs> my brain's not working properly. So tomorrow morning is weigh in so i'm going to weigh myself i'm going to do all my measurements and i'm going to take more photos and take another video of me posing practice so thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you in the next video okay ciao Bye.